This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Thursday, February 9th, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to trade higher in 2017 with the market focused on a retest and break of critical resistance at 108.75, which is the December 2016 peak. At this point, look for any setbacks to be very well supported ahead of 106.21. That's the low that we saw back on the 30th of January with only a break back below and a close below this level to put the pressure back on the downside. Sterling dollar. So cable has been consolidating just off the December peak at 27.75 and this market could be poised for a test of that level over the coming sessions. However, this is a critical medium term resistance and it'll take a lot for this market to establish above that level. If we do see the establishment reflected in a daily close or even a weekly close above 27.75 then that could force a meaningful shift in the structure but until then there's risk for the market to continue to stall out up towards around 27.75 in favor of a bearish resumption back towards the multi-day, multi month and multi-year lows down around and just under 120. The, the key plus 30 year low that we saw was back in October of 2016 at 118.40. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has been continuing to grind lower. The market has room to extend declines down towards a measured move at 109.50. At that point, we could then see the formation of a higher low and bullish resumption. But again, right now, there's a measured move downside extension in sight at 109.50, and there's room for deeper setbacks. At this point, we need to see a close back above recent highs around 113.50 at a minimum to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to grind lower and is just within a stone's throw of retesting and breaking below the 2016 low at 106.24. A close below that level will open the door for an acceleration towards next key psychological barriers at 105. At this point, we need to see a close back above 107 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Aussie dollar. So Aussie gains in 2017 have been very impressive, but the market is now stalling out around some key medium term resistance in the 78, 77 area. This latest rally is stalled out around 77 or just shy of 77, and there is risk for a topside failure now ahead of a resumption of declines back down towards support in the 71 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been very well supported on dips into the 130 area. We did see a break and close below 130, a break below 130, but the market was unable to close below 130 in recent trade. And so the inability to establish below 130 puts the pressure back on the top side, and there is room for a bullish resumption back towards recent resistance in the 3388 area, or at 3388, that's the high that we saw on the 20th of January, with a break to expose the multi day highs at 3599 further up. At this point, only a close below 130 would take the immediate pressure off the top side. Kiwi dollar. So the New Zealand dollar has seen a very nice run in 2017 with the market trading all the way up to 73.76 thus far. But any rally should be very well capped, continue to be very well capped up towards and above 74 and into the 75 area as the market continues to look like it's putting in a longer term top. At this point though we would need to see a close back below 72 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. SPX 500. The S&P 500 continues to trade just off record highs and the market is poised potentially for fresh upside beyond the recent record high that we saw the other week and towards the 2320 to 2340 area further up. At this point it would take a break back below 2232. That's the low that we saw back at the end of 2016, right at the end of 2016 on the 30th of December to take the immediate pressure off the top side and maybe potentially force a shift in the structure. Gold. So gold continues to extend its run. The break that we saw a few days back above 1220 set up a higher low at 1180 and opened the door for a fresh upside extension of $40 up towards 1260. And that's where we're headed right now. So look for a test of 1260 over the coming sessions before the market considers a possible correction. Again, uh, ultimately here the structure is highly constructive and only back below 1180 would delay this constructive outlook for gold.